Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's Tuesday, January 9th, 2018. Hoping you guys are having a wonderful day, a blessed day. We're here to talk about North Korea. North Korea and South Korea had the official talks yesterday, right? And it seemed like these talks ended on a pretty good note. You know, everyone was very hopeful about these talks. Uh, the talks all started because North Korea wanted to ease tensions between their southern neighbor and themselves, and they wanted to send a delegation to the Winter Olympics that are happening next month in South Korea. Okay, the talks took place yesterday. Uh, the U.S. didn't seem too hopeful about them. Uh, they welcomed them, saying that talks are good, you know, it could open a door for uh, diplomatic efforts. Uh, but it seems like that's just not going to occur. You know, you got a lot of international bodies who are weighing in on this situation, and a lot are saying that, you know, uh, talks between the North and South are always welcome. You know, you've got a few nations that are also a little cautious, stating that North Korea, if they do look for a deal, unless it's denuclearization, uh, it, it's going to be a deal with loopholes that they're going to be able to further test missiles, further test nuclear devices, further uh, embolden their arsenal, their nuclear arsenal. Okay. At the end of these talks, we heard North Korea's chief negotiator state that uh, they were not going to raise the issue of nuclear weapons during the talks with South Korea because their, their weapons aren't pointed towards South Korea. They're only pointed towards the United States of America. All right. Uh, now, the problem I have with this is the fact that North Korea's rhetoric over the past you know, 10, 20 years, and especially the last six months, has not just been directed towards the United States of America. It's been directed towards South Korea. It's been directed towards Japan. Uh, and Japan's one of these countries that is taking this with a grain of salt because North Korea has threatened to sink Japan, to burn, burn it, turn it to ash. Okay, because of its alliance with the United States of America. Now, I, we all know why North Korea wants nukes. North Korea doesn't want nukes uh, for a preemptive strike against the United States of America. That's just something that uh, 99 to 100, it would not happen. You know, they want it because North Korea's leader, Kim Jong-un, has seen different leaders around the world, like Gaddafi, give up their weapons of mass destruction, their nuclear weapons, only to be toppled, right? So this situation is not just all of North Korea's fault, and I think that's what people need to wake up to, all right? As a God-loving American, I can say that America's foreign policy over the past 20, 30 years has led us to this point where we have a dictator in North Korea who does not trust us which, I mean, who can blame them? But once these nuclear warheads, once these nuclear missiles, so his regime can survive. Does that make it right? No, it doesn't. But I understand where his crazy mindset is. Now, you can defend Kim Jong-un having nuclear weapons all day long, but you also have to look at the other side of the spectrum, right? You gotta see that the North Korean people, how how they're treated like slaves. They literally send people off, hundreds of thousands, to different countries to make a uh, minimum amount of money while a majority of their labor wages get sent back to Kim Jong-un's regime. These people are starving. We've, we have countless stories of starvation, of different camps, these labor camps where people are flogged to death and people are tortured to death, they're worked to death. All because Kim Jong-un wants his regime to survive. Like I've said in many videos, it's it's not the people of the countries that are your enemies. Most likely, usually, it's the politicians, it's the people who lead. These talks, while good, won't get us anywhere because the U.S. wants the denuclearization of North Korea and North Korea isn't going to talk about their nukes. They've talked about multiple times. So this is not getting us anywhere. We're back to square one, which is basically military force is the only thing that's going to stop this. I will be extremely surprised if we see talks actually solve this issue. Guys, as more information about this comes out, I'll let you guys know. We'll talk about it, discuss it. Drink a beer, say some prayers, and as always, guys, keep your eyes to the skies. Thanks.